ESPN's predicting week five upsets. Dan Graziano takes the Browns plus three over the Chargers. Browns are all about running the ball. Chargers have allowed 282 rushing yards over their last two games. Cleveland's strength on offensive on the offense plays to the Chargers' weakness on defenses. I think it's a spot for the Browns uh, to bounce back. And, and that's kind of dovetailing on what you were saying. This Chargers' run defense has been gashed. Um, not only the last two weeks, they've been gashed uh, regularly. So uh, main thing is Browns can't turn over the ball, and they need to control the time of possession. Keep that high-powered offense enjoying the uh, the lakefront on the sidelines. No question. And, like, and you have a couple other factors going into this. We'll get it to it real quick on the defensive side of the ball, but starting here on the offense. When you ever you talk about an opponent the Browns are going up against and there are issues with stopping the run game, <laughs> Keep in mind, what are the things we have just talked about here? The number three offensive line in the NFL is the Cleveland Browns. Nobody, and I'll say there is no better running back in the NFL right now than Nick Chubb. So you know teams have issues stopping the run going into these games. And then you say, well, it's the Browns offensive line and it's Nick Chubb. So that should amplify those issues. I think with the secondary improving their play, getting Miles back, getting Taven Bryant back, we'll see where Jadavian Clowney is at if he can make it back this week, because it would be uh, obviously ideal if they could get him back this week. But maybe we're starting to get a little bit closer to the balance that this team needs, where the defense can play well in two phases, the offense can hopefully play well in two phases, and things start to work a little bit better for him. But I think they're going to put up a good show this week. I agree. And and uh, the defense has to – I mean, you're running out of time with the defense because – it's going to, this is the beginning of a whole lot of offenses that put points on the board. So that defense needs to get after it. 